we will, and there were results that we will take the relationship and probably we will work together to reopening the embassy. And I congratulate the Foreign Minister, Mr. Santiago, because when he met uh, our Foreign Minister uh, about almost a year ago, they talked about bilateral relationship, how to strengthen it further. And as you can imagine, by 2023, at the very first month, Bangladesh listed by IMF as the 35th largest economy. With its growing importance, it has attracted Argentina from the power of land in Latin America as well. And there were immediate commitment from the government of Argentina for reopening the mission. And we are here today. And I think this is one of the greatest examples that how people can inspire respective governments in establishing political, diplomatic, and economic ties. And in almost no time, both the foreign officers work really closely here at Buenos Aires and also from Delhi. And today, on 27th of February, not within even beyond three months when the commitment was made, Argentina is reopening their mission. So I congratulate the government of Argentina for speedy implementation of the commitments that they have made to both of our nations and people. I'd like to express my gratitude to the Honorable uh, Minister. Your kind presence here today signifies the importance that Argentina places on our relations. Bangladesh is keen to expand its relations with Argentina, the leading economy in South America, in all possible areas of cooperation in depth and dimension. We attach great importance to our relations with Argentina. The relations between Bangladesh and Argentina have always been cordial based on shared values and friendship. As many of you know, Bangladesh and Argentina share a special bond that goes beyond politics and diplomacy. Millions of Bangladeshi supported the Argentinian national football team during the World Cup, and this has brought our people closer together. People of these two friendly nations are bonded by hearts despite their geographical distance. The reopening of the Argentine mission in Bangladesh provides a platform for us to deepen the relationship further. Distinguished guests, today we are gathered here to celebrate the reopening of the Argentine mission in Bangladesh. The establishment of a resident mission will provide a platform for our governments to engage in regular dialogue, exchange ideas, explore opportunities, and further our cooperation. The embassy will facilitate cultural exchange, exchange of visits of dignitaries, officials, businessmen, academicians, scientists, tourism, and it will promote trade and investment opportunities. As you know already that Bangladesh is the 35th largest economy, and by 2030 it's projected that Bangladesh will become the 28th largest economy of the world. And by 2036, Bangladesh is likely to become 24th largest economy of the world. The continuity of the government of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina over two decades, investment in rural economy and women empowerment are the three important components for inclusive development. You will be in Bangladesh for two days, Excellency, and I believe you will realize the special place Argentina has in our hearts. While we idolize the greatest ever Diego Maradona, our new generation has another hero, Lionel Messi. What's never changed is our love for the great football of Argentina. And it's worth mentioning that our founding father of the nation, Bangladesh Sheikh Mujibur himself, was almost a professional football player. He actually played well before our war of liberation in the first division.